Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our channel here. So uh, today, uh, gonna be another shop video today. So I uh, got my race car here, just pulled out the GoPro. Wasn't gonna do any of this, but you know, um, uh, I miss it. And uh, it, it certainly takes time to do this and uh, to, to, to video. And then obviously, so it, it bogs me down a little bit, but listen, uh, you guys deserve it. Cause I know you like, yeah, guys like watching, getting caught up and that kind of stuff. So uh, I'll get you, get you, get, get you caught up really quick uh brandon has been out riding the can-am renegade 1000 we got the motor put in there i got another video coming out on that so that's the old motor sitting there so we got that that motor out um this is the 850 got the transmission this is the bad transmission here i've got it halfway out just had to wait on a few things there but this is the new transmission going into that so uh and brandon's got his yfz so uh he's got some guys down uh uh from uh iowa and uh, got a really good partner down here from Iowa and uh, they're doing some training and uh, I think today he's actually training with uh, um, with the 9-2 goggles guy so uh, anyway and then Chris Borish I think so anyway um, Brandon's in full-fledged training mode right now and that, that kind of stuff but uh, hey today the video is gonna be on my race car so I didn't get to race a, a couple Saturdays ago I uh, had a terrible oil leak and uh, when I'm, I'm gonna get this engine out here and I'm gonna show you what happened uh, we were worked and worked to try to get it solved so i could go racing that night and uh, a couple saturdays ago and uh so what happened was is the machine shop guy sent the sent the engine off to a machine shop guy and uh, he rebuilt the bottom end and uh so he so he put all new freeze plugs in here so these are these are freeze plugs but these are the water ones there's a couple oil ones here there's an oil galley that runs across here there's an oil plug there and then there's another one behind this pulley here it blew that one out going toward staging and then we repaired that pulled the transmission put that one in and then it blew this one out uh they was going to give me a couple laps of uh practice before the heat race and it blew that one out so uh anyway um we tried to fix it couldn't fix it so what's going to happen is we're going to we're going to remove this engine and we are going to put uh uh threaded ones in there threaded plugs in there okay to try to fix that so um it's aggravating because you got to pull the motor out, but uh, th that's fine. Uh, didn't get to race and uh, and terrible bummed about that. But uh, listen, we'll, we'll get back after it. But, but this is my race car. I did have to wash this thing about two two or three times here. Uh, and it's still got some oil or residue on there. So anyway, we're going to do a little bit of video of me uh, pulling the engine out here. I've already started here. But uh, but anyway, I'll uh, set you guys up and, and maybe you guys can watch me here. I'll be honest with you it, it really really sucked um, to go last Saturday and uh, not to even get a turn a lap on the on the speedway um, anyway went uh, went there got all excited got dressed got in the car and uh, did a heat cycle in the new engine and um, I went to pull up to the, the staging area where they where they get you sort of lined up uh that there's a certain time that like a 10 minute intervals that they let you go out on and uh so as i was going up there um i saw the car lost oil pressure like there there's a there's an idiot light sort of in the race car on the gauge there and all of a sudden that light come on and i'm like what in the heavens is that light on for so and of course this is all a split second kind of deal and um so 
I, I switched the engine off, obviously, because I had no oil pressure. I had thought it broke an oil line up here or something um, going to that little idiot light. And uh, so anyway, I, I immediately turned the car off, got out of the car, and uh, my goodness, there was a puddle of oil up underneath the car. So I knew I had a massive, massive leak. So lo and behold, walked back down to the pit area and um, got an ATV and uh, come back and uh, you know got in the car. I actually tied tighter one of the kids that was with me. He got in the car and drove it uh, being pushed. And this thing's a front wheel drive and the transmission's locked. And uh, there's, you know, three inches of stagger or more in the front end of this thing and um he was having a devil of a time driving it or turning it you know of course it wasn't running and um so anyway we got it to back to the pit area and discovered that uh it had blew out that plug in the back back here which i'll show you so i'm like you know i'm 49 years old uh let's throw this thing in the trailer i'm done for today um get ready to fix it at home whatever so the kids that were with me um Jimmy a Tyler and another Tyler and uh, they're like nah we got time let's pull it out let's get it fixed so I'm like well if you guys feel froggy you know of course I wanted to race if you guys feel froggy I said I said let's get after it so boy they did we they, they jumped in and um, we all got going on this thing and uh, pulled the transmission out of it and, and it's not no easy feat especially at the racetrack so Got the engine out or the transmission out of this thing and discovered that obviously we had a oil plug that blew out and uh, luckily for us uh, Kevin at the machine shop uh, he was right up the road I don't know 30 minutes probably uh, he was going to some kind of drag racing deal and they got rained out so he's like well shoot I'll just go to the Harbondale Speedway and watch the stock car races so anyway, got a hold of him, and uh, he ended up bringing us a plug. And uh, so anyway, we, we got it all put back in, got the transmission put back in, and we're like, yeah, we got this, you know what I mean? And here we are, uh, 6.30 or so, the races start at 7. So we thought we was going to be okay. And the racetrack, God bless them, they, they was going to let me have, you know, four or five laps just to make sure there's no more oil leak. <laughs> Went down, got on the racetrack, went down by the flag stand, just, you know, first gear, and uh, went down the back straightaway, getting ready to hammer on it, and uh, I mean, dang, lost oil pressure again. I'm like, what in the heck is going on? This time, I oiled the racetrack down, which wasn't very cool. Um, you know, so pushed, got, got to the infield, and the guy's like, uh, hey, we'll just leave it out here in the infield and let it drain till after the heat races. And I said, yeah, that, yeah, that's fine. So that's what we did. Left it in the infield there and uh, to just let the oil drain off of it. So I'd, I had figured that that plug had came back out again. And uh, so we're like, okay, I'll come get it after the heat races. My night's over. So we did do that watch all the heat races or whatever and then um heat races were over so i went down there and picked it up got it got pushed back to the trailer and I'm like let me see what's see what's going on turns out it was the front oil plug blew out the back one blew out during earlier then it blew out the front one. well the front one was a heck of a lot easier to get to so here we go we go to work again we're like yep we can make the feature you know what i mean and uh, so we took all that off and got after it. Um, found the found another plug uh, to put back in it. Anyway, and uh, just didn't make it. So what happened was we, we had a little bit of a hard time with the timing belt and that kind of stuff. All of this was oiled, okay? There was oil all over the race car. So we had a heck of a time getting everything lined back up and and uh, so the race, the my class was getting ready to go out and uh, they were getting ready to go out and the, the racetrack itself was holding. Hey, Denny Hood. 
So I'm just talking to talking to YouTube right quick. So, but anyway, the, the racetrack was holding the race up for a couple laps to wait on me. So I'd gotten a race car and, uh, and got ready to go. Thought we was good. And uh, lo and behold, uh, you know, they, they just couldn't wait any longer. So I went down to the staging area and the race was like, it already went green. So they was like two laps into the race. And obviously they didn't let me on the racetrack while it was green. So anyway, um, hope for a caution. There was never a caution. So, so they sent me back to the pit area and didn't get turned in a lap. So, so we have JB welded the front one, put the back one in, and we was gonna race it like this, but decided that it's probably best to pull the engine out and uh, go ahead and repair it correctly um, instead of the way that we had it. We probably could have raced it like it was, but I don't, I don't wanna go back up there and have another chance with it blowing out. So that's what we're here doing. So um, anyway. I know Denny Hood don't like being on camera probably, but uh, l listen, I, we, we live out in the sticks and uh, this guy came by to, comes by to see me. So uh, he, uh, he owns a sprint car and uh, I'm probably gonna test it, probably coming up here a little bit, but uh, for him. And uh, Denny Hood don't drive anymore. He, he won his fair share of races back in the day. And uh, um, as, as you say, Denny Hood, you got too old. That's what too you say. Old, too old and too big. Yeah, too old and too big. So. Uh, it's all about weight and those things. So, uh, but anyway, uh, Denny Hood's come over here. He brought some, so brought some plugs over here and some, some taps and all that. So, so um, he's one of my only friends that, that are around me that, that actually comes out and helps me work on the race car every now and then and drinks a beer with me every now and then and all that kind of stuff. But uh, all right, let me put the camera down. Denny Hood's here. Someone talk to him a minute and uh, I'm gonna get this intake off. Oh, Denny Hood. Oh, Denny Hood's a good guy, man. He uh, uh, been around a long time, and he's got a uh, actually got a sprint car. Um, the ones we've got the big wings on the top, and uh, he doesn't drive anymore. But uh, he has certainly won his fair share of races, and and uh, over a period of years. So anyway, he just drops by, and uh, he wanted to to know if I'd got this thing out yet, and. Um, wanted to look at it to give me some wisdom and uh so anyway of course uh, no i haven't <laughs> haven't got it out yet but uh working on it so uh he called me earlier and i said yeah i'm out here working on it and he said all right i'll come by so so that's what he did but uh anyway hey listen uh a good dude man you know what i mean and um he'll certainly lend me a helping hand if i needed it and that kind of stuff but uh um there's gonna become a time where uh, here in the next couple of weeks so we, we want to go test this thing obviously I don't want to have those kind of problems again so we're gonna more than likely probably try to rent the racetrack maybe and um, he's got some issues that he wants to figure out with a sprint car he's got another driver that drives it and uh, so he wanted to know if um, oh boy I better make that a little longer he wanted to know as if maybe we could rent the racetrack um, rent the racetrack and basically take my race car up there and then obviously take his up there and um, not bother his driver. Maybe I could just, you know, test his race car also, which is a, which is a, a, a asphalt wing car, a sprint car. So um, I have driven his car before many, many moons ago. Uh, he's always had a driver in the past probably 10 years and uh, I did drive it one night for him because the way their points work is they've got driver points and then they also got owner points and his driver was getting married or something. I can't remember what exactly was going on at a wedding or something. So he called me and I'm like, well, sure. So I went and drove it. I started, I think 24th, uh, started in the back. I think I ran up to like eighth place in that thing. So, uh, it's got a really nice sprint car. So, um, there might be some opportunity for me to do that. I don't think my wife's gonna let me drive it during a race, um, just because of my history of <laughs> problems and uh, accidents and, and all those kind of things. But uh, listen, I'll certainly uh, test that thing for him and uh, um, that, that that's gonna be fun. But anyway, good guy, you know what I mean? All right, so 
essentially, let's see what I got going on here. Um, got all the bell housing bolts off. Oh, I got to get this bolt here off here. So I'm getting, I'm getting pretty close to trying to get this thing out of here and uh, seeing if we can get this thing repaired. So getting pretty excited about it, to be honest with you. So Denny Hood stayed over here about an hour. I was going to get a little bit of video of that. It was just chit-chatting, but anyway, dead, you know what I mean? He's a good dude, but uh, don't want to don't want to bore you guys out with uh, bench racing, which is what we were doing. So, um, but it's nice to have a friend come by here. So, um, Karen and I live out on uh, we got ten acres here here at, the, here at the house, and at the end of a dead end road here, we got some neighbors right up the road there. But uh, for the most part, we we live out. It's secluded, and um, and then also uh, we got state property just to the sides of us here. So. So we're out in the middle of nowhere, so we don't get, a lot of people don't bug us and, and that kind of stuff, and uh, which we like. Um, so it, it, it does cause me to work on my race car quite a bit by myself and that kind of stuff and, and all the ATVs and all that stuff. But uh, that's the way I like it, you know what I mean? I like just coming out here, hanging out by myself. But uh, uh, I was gonna tell y'all too, we, we did get air conditioning in the shop. So I uh, got all the doors shut down in here and the air conditioning is on, it's probably a 70, 374 degrees out here right now. So we did get air conditioning in the shop finally. Um, I don't like how quiet it is because whenever I do the YouTube and do the videotape and I have to turn off all the radios, which sucks, okay? Because I really like listening to music, especially when I'm out here by myself early in the morning time. I like just hanging out and uh, listening to um, classic country music, so. But anyway, that's fine. But yeah, it feels nice out here. Got the dogs out here. So um, I lock them out and whenever I lock them out, they scratch at the door because they know that I'm in here. So they want to get in <laughs> and uh, get in here and mess with me. So, uh, but anyway, I, I do have the puppies in here. And, um, but if I leave them out, they, they do not appreciate that uh, one bit. So, okay. So let's see here what we got going on here. So I think I got everything loose here. So I got to get this one motor mount out. So what I got to do is I got to drop the engine down and try to get this engine mount out here. So let's see if I can do that. And then uh, I may have to pull that transmission. Um, no, maybe not. That mount off over there. I thought maybe I'd have to do that, but. No, oh, I got it. Look at that. All right, sweet. Okay, a little bit of water dripping on the, a little bit of water dripping on the concrete there, but it's nothing, no, no biggie. So let's see if I can pull this thing out here. I'll come out, try to come out as square as I can with it. I gotta be real careful with my back because I don't want to, don't want to pull my back out again. There we go. Of course you can hear the water as the motor turned. Okay, so. All right, come on. There we go. All right, so there we go. Right. Let me get over here and operate the. Sort of a tight fit, snug fit, but uh, it ends up coming out. Um, we've done, certainly done this a time or two. Um, really wasn't expecting to do it this quick, to be honest with you, but uh, when I get that flywheel off there, I'll show you what had happened at the races and how we tried to repair it. Um, but anyway, it's just a little four cylinder Dodge 2.2 uh, engine. Can you see what I got going on here? So, uh, yep, made a hell of a mess there. So that's just water. We, we you know, they, they, they don't allow us to run any kind of antifreeze um, or any kind of uh, any kind of contaminants that's in the water at all. Because uh, if you do blow a hose or a cracker radiator or get in a crash or something like that on the racetrack, um, 
water is a lot easier to clean up than than the the contaminants that's or, or the um, the stuff that's inside the uh, the radiator. So uh, water only. So anyway, that that'll clean up pretty good. But um, okay, so what, what we got here? I'm gonna pull this flywheel off thing. You see, but the, you see that plug there? You can barely see it there. That's a brand new one. That one blew out originally first. I gotta pull this flywheel off, and then this is the other one. The other one that blew out the second time. We had to pull this gear off here. And we tried to repair that one with um, some epoxy and, and all that. You can see that didn't stick very well. I'm pulling that off of my, my finger. Look at that. But um, anyway, so we shoved that joker in there and just started shoving that darn epoxy in, <laughs> in there to, to try to fix that. And, uh, and we didn't get a chance to, chance to uh, try it. So um, all right, let me pull this flywheel off here. And then uh, we'll figure out uh, what we got going on here. And then I'll pull that other gear off there. Okay, so got the flywheel off there, but this is the original one that that blew out on us and would cause us to have to pull the transmission out of there. But as you can see, it's still intact. So what we did is we put a new one in there. Thanks to Mr. Kevin, he brought us a new one from the machine shop, and then we we put Loctite on that one, shoved that one in, and then we we ended up uh, putting the transmission back in, and uh, that's when uh, well, I got to mess with this water. So that's when uh, we got it all finished up and then went out on the racetrack and then, and this one up here blew out. So there's another one here. So, so there's a main oil line that runs all the way through the center of this block here, that oil up to the cylinder head. And um, so they take, the, they take these freeze plugs out. They take those plugs out right there, including these. These are the water ports. They take every, all that out of there so they can, so they can properly clean the block at the, at the machine shop and whenever the machine shop guy installed them i i don't know what the heck happened i don't know whether they're too small where they weren't installed correctly i i don't know so that's what happened so it blew the one out in staging area and then uh we got that all fixed and then lo and behold it blew the other one out when we went on the racetrack so anyway uh still want to apologize to arvindale speedway for having to clean up the oil so uh, it dumped out five quarts of oil the first time and five quarts of oil the second time so um all right so listen guys i'm gonna end the video here uh i don't know what the footage is gonna be like but we'll, we'll give it a shot so just give you guys a uh, catch up um uh, i think brandon will be here tomorrow so i'll get an idea about what's going on with him i know that he's been out riding every afternoon um with some some riders from up north like i told you earlier so i haven't seen a lot of him uh, between work and all that stuff i just uh haven't seen a lot of him uh, so anyway i know that he's busy. it's a busy time of the year for him right now and uh, he's as he's preparing for GNCC, which is I think uh, I think somebody said 20 days, something like that. So anyway, it's it's coming up on us pretty quick. So, uh, but anyway, me personally, I'm going to get the race car all finished up. Uh, Got to get the 850 all done. Uh, Brandon, uh, this quad will be for sale. Uh, I was going to race it, but it, it just turns out I can't. So uh, we're going to put a new transmission in it. I got the the puller here for the flywheel here. I got to get the flywheel off here or the uh, the primary clutch. And then uh, get that transmission out, put a brand new transmission in there, and uh, we're going to be selling the 850 uh, to make room for a another Renegade uh, that we've purchased for Brandon. So, uh, but anyway, just wanted to get you guys all caught up. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video of the <laughs> the race car. I know it's not nothing spectacular, but uh, hey, it is what it is. I probably that race car is probably 25 years old, and uh, but I freaking love it. Okay. I just love racing it and uh it's a little dodge uh it's a little dodge 2.2 is what the motor there is a little front wheel drive car and um anyway i just enjoy it man we just enjoy racing so anyway as always guys i appreciate you guys watching our videos and uh uh like comment and share as everybody always says on youtube okay so uh we appreciate everything and uh, until next time i'll see you guys later